Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, Pfizer's chief medical officer, is here along with her colleague, Amy Jenner. Through their work, they've seen the powerful impact that medical research can make. And Amy also experienced it firsthand with her father. Welcome to you both. So glad to have you. Thank you. It's so great to be here. And, and Amy, I wanted to talk briefly about how advances in medicine particularly impacted you in your personal life. Yeah, well, I believe my father got an extra 20 years because of medical advances. He did pass away a year ago, October, from Alzheimer's disease. But prior to that, um, he had suffered a heart attack, stroke, kidney cancer, high cholesterol, and any one of those could have shortened his life. But instead, he got to celebrate 62 years of marriage with my mother and spend really good quality time with his 12 grandchildren and two great-grandchildren. Well, well, obviously we're sad to hear of his passing, but also such a blessing that he had so many more years than you suspected in his life. Yeah, you know, Amy's story reminds us how important it is to stick with biomedical research. Medical advances are so important. And Amy and I work at one of the world's largest research-based biopharmaceutical companies. Um, Amy is another one of the 75,000 people that work every day in roles that help us with the ability to discover, to study, to make, and then to deliver new medicines and vaccines that are used to treat illnesses, and we hope to help people live longer and healthier lives. And I work in the part of the company um, where we support the correct use of already approved medicines, but there's another part of the company that studies potential treatments for diseases that we haven't cured yet, things like Alzheimer's. Um, unfortunately, there was not a cure for uh, Alzheimer's for my father, uh, but it's a, an issue we're still tackling. Well, and Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia. Over time, it can cause irreversible loss of memory and also the loss of other brain functions. People with Alzheimer's, they may experience everything from disorientation, mood and behavior changes, confusion, difficulty doing the everyday activities, speaking, swallowing, and walking. And as with Amy's father, it can certainly be fatal. And you know, that's in part because people with Alzheimer's have additional risk to develop things like infections, pneumonia, and malnutrition. And uh, in addition to that, because this is a progressively debilitating disease, people often with Alzheimer's become immobilized. That puts them at risk for other things like blood clots or muscle wasting. And obviously some diseases are more difficult to research than others. Mm -hmm. Alzheimer's being one that, that's difficult. It's, it's really been hard, in large part because the brain is the most complex organ in the entire body. Its unique biology makes it challenging to develop medicines that actually work in the brain and even to get into the brain. And diseases like Alzheimer's and other dementias are particularly vexing because the symptoms actually don't develop until well after the disease has taken hold. So we are working on that, as Amy said, working diligently, trying to find uh, new ways to intervene earlier and hopefully more successfully. But there's a lot of work still to do. And a lot of people can help out. In fact, Amy, I understand your nephew has lent a helping hand to the cause. Yes, he has. In honor of his grandfather, my nephew, Scotty, just completed the New York City Marathon and raised over $4,500. <laughs> Good for him. That is so great. Well, you know, we're going to need help from all quarters in order to tackle Alzheimer's and to keep medical research moving forward. And people can help in many ways. Scott, in one way, you can volunteer, you can advocate, um, and if possible, you can um, volunteer for a, a clinical trial. All of these things are very important to advance uh, medical science in this area. And of course, for more information on this topic and to figure out ways that you might be able to help, you can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com. And you can also, as always, visit thedoctorstv.com. Thank you both so much for Thank being you. here. We'll see you right back.